Happy birthday, Kayla! Hello, fellow book nerds! This is Gabby, and today I've got a bit of a different video for you. So it's Books and Lala's Kayla's birthday today. Kayla is my favorite booktuber, period. Like, I started watching her probably in about 2020, and she's just grown to be my ride or die, like the one person I watch. No matter what video it is, I'll watch her video. No matter the topic, no matter the book, I will re-watch it, I will listen to her thoughts, and I will likely be influenced. I mean, when I'm one of her channel members, so I've, when I realized she had her birthday coming up, I thought it was time to execute on my video that I've had percolating in my head for quite a while. And I hope it's interesting. It's quite like a fun topic, I think. We're gonna have some books recommended, so it's gonna be fun. But this video is about Books that Books and Lala, aka Kayla, made me read. If you don't know Books and Lala, if you don't know Kayla, she's a booktuber. She's been around for years. I think probably like at least 10, right? Um, I've only been watching her for maybe about two to three. But her, our tastes don't really align or they didn't use to align. So I first started watching her. I was firmly in my young adult fantasy that's pretty much what I read, occasionally a thriller, and she just opened up my eyes to so many books and made me realize I like weird shit. I like horror, so she's behind this new like horror kick, and I like weird books, and that's not something I realized before. So it's funny because I made this list, I made it chronologically, and I started like writing down the list ages ago because I had this idea like ages ago because I realized that she's the only booktuber that makes me pick up like books that I absolutely kind of had no clue existed and then also no interest in reading but it's coming from Kayla so I want to read it because she's saying it's good it's a lot of power to have so like kudos to her but yeah even though our initially our our tastes were so completely different I've never read weird books like that I've never read anything super disturbing I didn't like horror movies so I thought I didn't like horror books and then I picked up a couple and now my cha reading changed completely not completely. I still like me a uh, fantasy. I like, still like a YA occasionally. I think also that's because I grew up, so I like more adult books now. She introduced me to a whole new genre, and it's so funny because in the beginning it was like I only picked it up because she recommended it. Um, but now the books like she's interested in and that are coming out, I'm interested in because I'm interested in the weird stuff as well. Follow the weird authors and all that. So these are not all the books that we have in common that we've read or anything like that. But these are the books that I picked up just solely because. Kayla from Books and Lala said that it was good. So I picked it up and let's get into it and um, talk about it because it's gonna be fun. So we gotta start big and we gotta start in the beginning where it all started. So Middle Game by Shauna McGuire. I'm sure I've probably heard about this book before, Books and Lala, but she made me think that if I didn't read this, I'd be missing out so much. And she was right. So we follow two twins called Roger and Dodger who both have like almost like a superpower. So one is super good with words, one is super good with numbers and they can meet kind of outside of space and time and talk to each other in their heads and they were made in a lab. So it's them trying to get back to each other. I love this book. I've read this a while ago now. So I read this in April 2020. So it was the first book I read that I was influenced by Lala to read this. Um, but I loved it. I gave it four stars at the time. But actually, I think it might be a five now that I really know I like really weird stuff like this but it's so well written so well executed and you really feel the weirdness and the passion and it's kind of like how do you even describe this like the last act is just so weird and random but like I gotta reread this because it was such a good book this one ranks five on the Lala scale so I will tell you you know my rating and the books and Lala's ratings but uh yeah five for her and for me probably in Handside, how would I think about it, how fondly I think about it, it would also be a five star. But if you enjoy something weird, something told in a weird, unique way, non-linear maybe, with interesting characters and interesting world building, I would really pick this up because it's a very cool book that um, I've been thinking of fondly. I need to read Season of Fears, but um, if Kayla didn't like it, I don't know if chances of me liking it are all that great, so I'm a bit scared. Then next book I read because of books and Lala was Follow Me to Ground by Sue Rainsforth. So this one is a, a quite a short book. I actually do own it, but I don't have it in with me. So it's about this daughter and father and they live in this like remote cottage and they can heal people. So people come to them to be healed and they put them in the ground and they like 
the ground heels it's very weird and it's so funny because I didn't remember loving it that much but I looked at my Goodreads so I read this in July of 2020 and I looked at my Goodreads I gave it four stars and then my comment was uh, like my review was it was so weird that I don't know if I loved it or not and that that encapsulates a lot of books that are weird like that when you're like I don't know what I just read and I don't know how to feel about it but I feel some type of way uh so yeah so for four stars for me five lala stars and I do think that was a pretty good book in retrospect it has been a while it was um very short and very weird and in the end I was like I don't really know what's happened but like I enjoyed the ride so I would really recommend if you're into like weird short feminism horror type of thing. Next book that I read because of Books and Lala was Love Beyond Body, Space and Time by Hope Nicholson. So this book I read in March 2021 and this one is a collection of st short stories from indigenous authors, different fantasy, sci-fi short stories. I think it is like all LGBT Q plus and it talks about gender um, and gender expression and, and in this like sci-fi fantasy way. I did really enjoy this one. I gave it four stars and I did think that it was a very thought-provoking collection. I never used to read short story collections. I just started picking them up because of Books and Lala and I don't actually think there's any on this list. I'm not sure if I read it even specifically because she said to read it, read it but I, I have been picking up more of them and that was one of the first ones I ever picked up. So it was five on Books and Lala's Care, four on mine, but it is a really impactful um, collection that I would recommend you read if you're interested in like LGBT plus stuff and indigenous authors. So then I read This Seed by Chana Porter. So I read this in June 2021 and in this one we follow, it's again not a short story but a novella and we follow a world where the apocalypse happens. Well no, not apocalypse I guess, it's an alien invasion and the aliens are super peaceful but they overtake people's bodies. So it's about this world that's been overtaken by this alien species and people coping with that and I I thought it was just the most thought-provoking, interesting, unique story. And again, I've never really read anything like that before. And it was so impactful. I gave it four stars initially, but I do think in the, like for me, it's five stars. Like the way I think and reflect on this book, it's still a five-star read. There's so many interesting ideas about love, autonomy, about peace, consent. And it's just such an interesting read. Honestly, I was blown away. I, the offer's coming up with a new book. I definitely want to pick it up. Books and Lala gave it four for uh, Books and Lala's stars. So I gave it four initially, but I think it deserves a five because again, it's just always in my head. I used to be very stingy is something I realized, but I gotta change all of these. <laughs> Because then I read We Ride Upon Sticks by Quan Berry. So this one is super interesting. Again, Books and Lana just always comes up with these very interesting, unique books that either have a very unique premise or they have a very unique way they're being told and like a nar narrative structure. Like something about them is different. And I want to know where she's getting all these insight. Like I get my insight from her. So where is she getting hers? But We Ride Upon Sticks is about a hockey team, all female hockey team, who sign deal with the devil and then they kind of become this one organism almost like they they have this like hive mind i guess so that the whole book is told um in first person plural so you we did this and we did this and we went to here and we felt this way so it's like all the girls that are experiencing the emotions together i love this book it was so weird and i loved how it was written i want to read more stuff like that i gave it four stars initially but i think it deserves five again the way i perceive it with time because it's been two years or one and a half i, I just like loved it so much and i always think about it i always recommend it as one of my faves so five stars five on books and lala's list and i loved it i want to read more from the author as well then we have my heart is a chainsaw by stephen graham jones so this is i read in october 2021 as well and this one was part of my final girl club like mania because there was a period last year or two years ago where every book was about final girls and this book was no different so we follow like a film buff a girl who's obsessed with movies but like specifically slashers and then things start happening in her hometown where she sees that they fit into the uh, genre stereotypes and archetypes of the genre of like the final girl and and the slut and the killer and the best friend that dies and blah 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 so she starts perceiving um, it that way but it's a horror 
and then she gave it four stars but actually with time like i i think i was kind of kidding myself because i wanted to like it uh but i ended up giving it about three stars maybe even like two and a bit i just it didn't like i didn't understand what was happening in this book i think i might have listened to the audiobook and it was so disorienting the way it was written like a lot of stephen graham jones i actually read uh, only good idiots by him as well and i do find it a little bit disorienting the way his books are written and i'm sure it works for some but just didn't particularly work for me but books and lala give it five stars so you know if she thinks it's good i'm surprised i didn't but at least there's something we disagreed with because this book this video is getting boring because i thought we agreed on nothing like i didn't think we agreed on that many books but apparently we do then i had queen of the tiles by hannah alcalf um so this one actually maybe could have been on my radar anyway um but i definitely heard of it because of books and lala before she even read it and then she really liked it so i wanted to pick it up too and i did end up enjoying it so this one is a ya thriller i think uh where this girl is at a scrabble competition and her best friend dies and she thinks it's from natural causes but a year later when she's back in the tournament uh she gets messages that maybe um it wasn't actually an accident um and it was um a permanent permanent premeditated premeditated murder um uh, so i gave it four stars i thought it was really cute i read that in may 2022 and books and Lala also gave it four stars so we agree there another book i read was what moves the dead by t kingfisher so i wouldn't say that i read what moves the dead specifically because of books and lala but i picked up t kingfisher as an author specifically because of books and lala so what moves the dead is a retelling of the house of usher and it's about this person who gets called to their um childhood's like childhood friends family home um because the guy's sister is dying and it's very creepy i love it like i loved it like i realized that i like i hate mushrooms i like i like eating mushrooms i hate fungus as like a thing but then i love horror stories with mushrooms so that's something i realized i love this book i gave it five stars i think books and lala might have actually given it four i rated five here but i think i got confused when i was doing my notes because i don't think she liked it as much as i did because i was like this is the best thing ever it's a sliced bread but that just tells me that i need to read more tea king for sure the last two books i've read for and um, as a part of a reading vlog that's gonna come out so i don't want to really spoil my opinion uh, but it was daphne by josh mallerman uh, where we follow a all-female basketball team who start getting haunted by this ghost called daphne or are they um and then the writing retreat by julia bart is actually books and lala's um literally book club uh pick for april i think or maybe march but we i, I cannot wait to talk to talk about it in the live show um but that one is about a author who goes on a writing retreat with one of her favorite authors and weird things start happening i'm not gonna tell you what i thought about each of them and we still don't know what books and lala thought about the writing retreat but daphne was a four star and i would agree there this feels very awkward because i feel like uh, kayla might see this and then i'm just this weird fun girl but like thank you for everything you do kayla honestly you're like my favorite booktuber because you put so much work and thought and preparation and so much empathy and i love the way you review books you just make it so engaging i love your vlogs and i'm so happy to be part of your members club uh besties members and uh yeah i hope you have a lovely birthday i hope uh lala fawn goes really well and uh i hope everyone else enjoyed this video if you could comment like and subscribe i really really appreciate it, it really helps me out but that's it for me and i'll see you in the next one bye